helped me lose a little bit over six pounds. welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be another vlog but before I get into today's video I want to say a huge thank you to Glamnetic for collaborating with me in this portion of the video if you're not familiar with Glamnetic they are a brand that sell magnetic lashes and now press on nails they actually went viral a couple of years ago, so I'm actually super honored to be working with them again. This is the package they sent me. It is in this cute little package, but I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick little unboxing and show you guys what I received. So let me just figure out where to set this camera. All right, I think that is good. All right, so again, here is the package I received, and can we just take a second to appreciate how cute this packaging is? I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up and start pulling out everything I received. So I did pick up a couple of press-on nails this time since I haven't tried them before. So here is the first set I picked up. These are called the Madame and they are just a classic French tip. I think these are so cute. And the next set of nails I picked out are these right here. I think these are so cute. And these are in the style sprinkles. I do have one more press on nails in here and here is how they look like. And this is in the style creme de nude. The next thing I have in here are some lashes. What I really like about their lashes is that each set of lash can actually be worn up to 60 times since you're not using eyelash glue and you don't have to deal with all that mess. So I definitely think it's a great investment picking up these types of lashes if you are the type of person who enjoys wearing falsies every single day. But the first set of lashes I received are these ones right here. And these are in the style XOXO. And then the next set of lashes I picked up is in this style right here. And this is in the style lullaby. The next thing I have in here is just a lash grip. And then the last thing in here is the liquid magnetic eyeliner. And this is what you need to apply the eyelashes because the eyelashes do stick to this eyeliner. So just definitely keep that in mind. But yeah, I'm super excited. I think I'm going to go ahead and try on the lashes first, and then I'm gonna try out one of those nails. So the first set of lashes I'm going to try out are these ones. These are the Lullaby Lashes. And these lashes do come with anchors on the corners, so you do wanna make sure you take those anchors off. And basically those anchors are just supposed to give you extra support when you put on the lashes. Now that I have the anchors removed, the next thing I'm gonna do is just grab my mirror. I'm just gonna check to see how the lashes fit over my eye or if I need to trim them. Okay, so it doesn't look like I need to trim it. So next I'm just gonna grab my magnetic eyeliner and it does say to shake it up well before use. So I'm gonna just quickly shake this up. I'm just going to go ahead and apply a layer above my lash line thick enough to where the magnets would line up with the eyeliner. All right, so I just finished applying the magnetic eyeliner. So I'm just gonna grab these tweezers and just plop them on. All right, so that was the first pair. Super easy to put on. And I'm just gonna grab the second lash now. I'm just going to get as close as I can to the, my lash line and just literally just drop it on, so. Exactly like that. And as you can see, it's already kind of holding to the magnet itself. And I'm just gonna take the other side and adjust it. And 
and that is literally it. So easy to put on. All right, so here are how the Lullaby lashes look like up close. I think these are so gorgeous, perfect for everyday wear. I love how natural they look. All right, so I just removed the Lullaby lashes. The next one I'm gonna try on are these ones right here. Again, this is the XOXO. And that is it, so easy to put on. I think I'm actually going to put on the anchors for these ones since I do plan on wearing this throughout the day. So I'm gonna quickly put these on and then I will show you a close up of how they look like. All right, so I just popped on those anchors for extra hold and here are how those XOXO lashes look like up close. Again, very natural. I think these are stunning lashes, perfect for everyday wear. Next thing I'm going to try out are one of those pressed on nails they sent me and I'm actually going to go with these ones in these style sprinkles I'm just going to quickly unbox this and show you what comes in each of these nail kits inside the package are just some extra nails there is an alcohol pad to wipe down your nails to make sure there's no dirt or oil so that the nails do stick up to two weeks there is a little nail file there is the nail glue and then the last thing in here is just a cuticle pusher. So I'm just going to quickly set up my area so I can apply these nails and I will take you guys along on how I put these on. So the first thing I did was just push my cuticles back with the nail pusher they provided. The next thing I'm doing is just wiping off each nail with the wipe just to make sure all the dirt and oil is removed. Next, I'm just going to take the glue and start gluing my fingers as well as the nail. And I do hold each nail on for about 10 seconds for maximum hold. And that is literally it. This entire process took me less than 10 minutes and here is the final result. So here are how my nails came out. I think they are so cute. I love the colors and I feel like they are at the perfect length. I don't know if you can tell, but I did kind of mess up on my thumb and my pinky, but I feel like that's totally my fault for not filing it down enough, which kind of caused those little air bubbles. But other than that, I am actually so obsessed with these nails. I think they are so cute. If you are interested in any of the Glamnetic products I just shared, I will have them all linked in my description below. And I do have a discount code you can use, and that is Cleo for 15% off. And again, all that information will be linked in my description below. But yeah, I am getting ready to head out right now to meet up with a friend for some brunch. So I will check in with you guys in a bit. guys so it's actually been a couple of days later today is Tuesday and as you saw from some of the earlier clips I just made myself some tea this morning I am currently doing Timmy's 30-day detox again they did send me some more teas which was honestly perfect timing with the holidays being over but if you are someone who is looking to detox or just get rid of bloating or improve your overall gut health I totally recommend trying out these teas I did do a full thorough review of my whole 30-day experience I will go ahead and add a card at the top if you are interested in checking that out but yeah I do have a discount code for 30% off through the end of January so it's a great time to pick up these teas if you have been curious about it but yeah while we are on the topic of detox and cleansing I thought I would just quickly share with you guys some of the things I have been doing since the new year to kind of get me back on track with my fitness goals as well as some of my 2022 goals I firstly just want to say that there is absolutely nothing wrong with gaining weight during the holidays for me personally I like to be in the moment my family lives about six hours away from me so me and my fiance do travel during the holidays so when I am together with my family 
I will literally eat anything my parents make for me. I love all the home cooked Filipino dishes they make. I'm not tracking calories and I'm not beating myself over what I'm eating even though it might not be the healthiest. Um, but with that being said, I will be honest, I did gain a little over 10 pounds since the Christmas holiday and I think a mix of that was just overeating and my fiance did just have jaw surgery a couple of days ago, but the weeks prior to his surgery, he has just been bulking up and just eating a lot more, which has resulted in me also gaining weight since we do live together. I just was starting not to feel great. I was feeling sluggish nauseous and just not my best so i have implemented changes since the new year which has helped me lose a little bit over six pounds so i just wanted to quickly share with you guys what i have been doing to kind of lose that extra weight i have honestly been feeling so much better the past few days i'm having more energy i'm not feeling sluggish I'm having less anxiety, but yeah, I'll just go ahead and get right into it. One of the things I have been doing every day since the new year is drinking a gallon of water. I do have that gallon water bottle as you can see in the background, but I have just been making sure that I am being consistent with getting my water intake every single day. The next thing I have been doing is honestly working out every single day. And some days it's not intense at all. It could just be a 30 minute walk. I have been mixing up my workouts lately. I have been doing a mix of Mad Fits dance cardios. I have been doing Growing Gananas HIIT workouts, which I've shared a couple of times on my Instagram stories. And her workouts are so good. They are definitely intense, but they are about 30 to 45 minutes. So if you're short on time, I totally recommend trying out her videos. And another workout I have been doing a little bit more this year is the 12-3-30 workout. I briefly talked about it in my last video, but essentially it is a treadmill workout. You set the incline to 12, you set the speed to three, and you basically just walk for 30 minutes. I know it doesn't sound intense, but it is honestly a pretty intense workout. I will be dripping in sweat by the end of the workout and you're literally just walking. So that has easily become one of my favorite workouts since the new year. Another change I've implemented since the new year has just been cutting out alcohol during the weekdays i do still drink during the weekends i am just trying to limit my alcohol consumption to social events and the next thing i've been doing has been counting calories and tracking my meals i will be the first to say i am not the type of person to track my calories at all but since i am trying to lose the extra weight i have just been tracking my calories and my meals with my fitness pal and I am planning to do this temporarily until I get closer to my goal weight. I am eating about 1200 calories a day, which I know may not sound a lot to some and maybe to others it may sound like a little too much if someone is trying to lose weight, but I feel like 1200 calories is the perfect amount for me to consume each day while maintaining my energy and still feeling satisfied. I definitely don't feel deprived at all with that set calories. And then the last thing, as I shared earlier, has just been drinking Tamey's Detox Teas right here, which honestly is super easy. I just drink their loose tea every single morning and then every other night there is a colon cleanse. But yeah, that's pretty much all I've been doing since the new year and it's helped me to lose over six pounds. And so moving on to my 2022 goals, a lot of my goals were already mentioned earlier, but just some smaller goals that I have for myself this year is to just read more. I definitely want to incorporate reading more books this year. I have just been aiming to read at least a chapter every night, which I feel like is totally doable for myself. The next thing I have on my personal goals is to just kind of grow my YouTube channel. It's honestly so crazy to me how many friends I've made through this platform and I'm so, so grateful for all of you. But yeah, that is one of my goals for this year is to just kind of focus in on my channel and really work on creating some good content for you guys. And my last goal that I have for myself is to just kind of rebuild my relationship with God and get a stronger relationship with Him. Since this whole COVID pandemic situation, me and my fiance haven't been to church in a while. And that's just kind of one of the things I want to get back into doing every Sunday. 
but yeah that's about it i don't have this long list of 2022 goals but i definitely do plan on adding goals as the months pass by but yeah that's about it and it is about to be 8 a.m so i am going to just log on to work right now and i will check in with you guys later <laughs> store and I did just pick up some groceries for the week I'll just quickly show you guys what I picked up starting from this side I just have some toilet paper in the back and some gloves for when I wash dishes I have some bananas I have this suja mighty dozen cold pressed juice this is one of my favorite green juices I picked up some more of my favorite oat milk which is the Chobani and this is the zero sugar vanilla this does only have 80 calories for one cup so I like to pick this one out I picked up some sesame oil the next couple of things I picked up are soups because like I mentioned my fiance did just have jaw surgery he is on a all-liquid diet right now so he has been eating a lot of soups for dinner I picked up some lentils I am going to try and make a curry bisque sometime this week I did pick up a couple of other ingredients for that dish but yeah I just have a can of lentils cream of potato a cream of mushroom with roasted garlic cream of mushroom I am going to also try and make a mushroom and truffle soup I did pick up some mushrooms as well I picked up this broccoli cheddar soup from home chef as well as this lobster bisque from Panera going back to this side I picked up some Chobani yogurt lately I have been loving making yogurt bowls as a snack I also picked up some strawberries for that bowl as well as some smoothies, some blueberries, picked up some onions, and here's that Thai red curry sauce that I'm going to use when I try and make that curry soup. I picked up some shredded cheese. I think I was actually planning to pick up the Mexican blend instead of this one, but that should be fine. And here are the mushrooms I was talking about for when I do make that mushroom and truffle soup. I picked up some cauliflower rice some coconut milk, some turmeric, and again, these are all going in that curry soup I do plan on making later this week. I picked up some baby spinach. I love sauteing spinach. I love throwing this in my green smoothies, so I always like picking up a tub. And then I just picked up this picnic pack of chicken. It was on sale, this entire pack was only $7.32. And moving along here, I just picked up some cilantro, some lemongrass. I've actually never cooked with lemongrass before, so I picked this up because the curry soup recipe I found online does require lemongrass, so we'll see how that goes. If you have cooked with lemongrass before, let me know what other dishes you use it in. I picked up some green onion, and I just picked up this Cobb salad kit. And then the last thing I have are just some cherry tomatoes. And that is pretty much everything. This entire grocery haul came out to about $90. This is for me and my fiance, and this should last us about a week or so, but yeah. Hey guys, so it's been a couple of days later. I was actually hoping this was gonna be a weekly vlog, but it's looking more like a days in my life type of vlog. 
but today is Saturday. I did get some filming done this morning and I filmed some content for a brand I'm super excited to share with you guys and that video will be up next week so keep an eye out for that. But I did just finish getting ready. I am actually getting ready to head over to LA to celebrate a friend's birthday. I will be there for the weekend, so it should be super fun. And I will try and see if I can vlog a little bit. But yeah, I am running a little bit late right now, so I will just check in with you guys once I'm there. <laughs> 